The first time that I got to meet uh, Nick Eaton was in my uh, sophomore phys ed class. And Nick was a, a kind of a quiet kid. I also had him then his junior year. And he really was a, a, a different, different young man at that time. Nick is very involved with the circus company and the magic. And he would come in every day almost if he could. And he would just dazzle me with his uh, expertise with new magic tricks. Anytime he's walking the hallway and he passes by my office, if I have a visitor, even current students, I always call them into the office and, and say, show us what you have, you know? And he say, Mr. Reed, you want me to show you what I got? So he empties out all his pockets. He said, I have nothing. But then he'll pull out some cars out of nowhere, you know, and show us a magic trick. I can see from the way he interacts with people that he sees God in every one of the performances that he does and every one of the people that he meets. When I first met Nick, uh, he came to a library program at our library in Brook Park. We got to talking during the program and he was a very personable young man and come to find out he did magic. And so we hired Nick to do a program at the library with magic. Through the years, it's been wonderful to watch Nick's transformation. He's become not just a confident performer, but also a leader, one of the movers of the circus company. Well, I find part of my performing as living out my faith, because I get to make people happy. And I think that's one of the most important things that you can do, is to brighten up a person's day. Nick has the capability to get a good education no matter where he's at, but Ignatius added more. If we didn't have the financial assistance, I don't think there would have been a possi you know, possibility of being able to go to Ignatius. And I will always be grateful to Ignatius for what they've offered the kids. I met Deshaun when he was a sixth grader. Very quiet, you know, not really outspoken. But when you asked him a question, he definitely was very direct with his answers um, and respectful too as well. I first got to know Deshaun through the Christian Action Team and his willingness to want to participate in some of our Christian service initiatives to, I think, try to live the faith that he holds so dear. A lot of people watch me because a lot of people know of my involvement in church. Uh, so I just try to, day to day, do what I know is right uh, and be that example for my fellow classmates. He is a youth minister at his African Methodist Episcopal Church, and he invited all his teachers freshman year to go and hear him preach the Sunday sermon. I think four or five of us showed up for that service that morning, and it was really a great, it was a great experience. <laughs> I think we forget about how much students enrich our lives, and he definitely is an enriching student. He's involved. I mean, he's involved in catatonics, the man chorus, uh, service programs. You know, he's really involved here at Ignatius. He's had numerous preaching engagements in and around our conference, and, and also uh, from leading uh, our Bible studies, our youth Bible studies, to being active in Sunday school. When he's involved in service, you see a different side of him. When he's on the pulpit and he's preaching to the youth or even to adults, he's a whole different person as well. Being grounded within his faith has allowed him to grow as a young man. Without the financial assistance, um, Deshaun's family probably wouldn't be able to afford St. Esther's High School. As an alumnus of this school, I am very proud that Deshaun and I will share the same diploma. He gives credibility to the piece of paper that he gets at the end of his four years because he's willing to not only be a young man of intelligence, but a young man of competence and compassion and conviction. And it's those traits which I think will distinguish him, among others, as being a true Ignatian man. First time I met Patrick was at basketball practice. Kind of just hit it off. You know, Patrick has got a contagious, you know, smile, personality, a kid that I believe makes Ignatius better. By that time, he was in, involved in the basketball program as a, a team manager. Whatever the cost for our basketball team, he'd come in the gym, there's no chore that was too demeaning, no chore that was uh, left un, unturned, whether it was practice, whether it was game. What, what Patrick contributed to the team 
you know, you didn't see it in a uniform. You know, he did everything outside of, of what you know kids, you know, kids are wearing the uniform. He handles the water, the clock, the the towels, the floor. You know, jobs that aren't aren't the greatest, and he does it with such pride. And he knows he's a huge, huge part of the success not only we've had as a team, but these kids have had as individuals. When you walk on this campus and you are a student or alumni, it really does feel something special. The opportunities that I've been given uh, here, I don't think I would even match them at other schools. Patrick has a passion for St. Ignatius High School, for the city of Cleveland, uh, He's he, and then loyalty. I mean, there's just not a a more loyal kid uh, in this school than Patrick Gibbons. I believe that when he walked into this building, um, this is where he wanted to be. This was uh, a special place for him. He has uh, grown into that uh, each year more and more. He just exudes the, the spirit of St. Ignatius, what we want our men to be, uh, men for others. No one worked harder than Patrick. No one came to every study session I had or would come to see me during free periods like Patrick. He was just determined that he was going to do well. And they even dressed me in one of their games when they played at Quicken Loans Arena. To watch Pat, the pride he had in putting on the Ignatius uniform to the point of tears, and then to go out there and be able to warm up for the game and, and be on the floor with the with his brothers who he's been with for four years. It's one of the reasons why I, I'm involved is because of, uh, moments like that are, are, are it, it's, it's really what uh, Ignatius is, is about. I'm a big believer in giving back and clearly the, the, the alumni, the parents, the friends give back to the school and we have to continue to give back more and more every year because of, of costs. It's, it's much more rewarding to give back to the school uh, on an annual basis than, than anything that we do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.